Well, the soundtrack to Donny's Life is released on November the 10th. We're all very much looking forward to a very special performance at the end of tonight's show. Yes, yes, because as we're saying, we are celebrating families who sing together. So let's meet our second family of the evening. Look, this is the Valentines. The Shorthead Brothers from Liverpool. <laughs> <laughs> we were on holiday camping. I started singing along, Sam started singing along. But then Ruben started harmonising, but he was like 11 at the time. We all just like started looking at each other laughing. Mum and Dad always had music on around the house, so we were always dancing. And... <laughs> First gig was uh, at a charity event where my dad works, and we were really nervous and my voice was very high back then. Being in a band with your brothers is the best thing in the world. It's something else really, it's having them with each other and sharing the experiences of doing all the gigs together, <laughs> laughing and joking around and then we just get on stage and it's just quality. Singing in front of Donny Osmond adds massive pressure. We've never performed any Osmond songs before. We have listened to a few though. We couldn't believe the harmonies, listening to the seven of them just smash the harmonies a cappella. Joel and Sam thought that, oh, I should start it because when Donny done it, he was, he was the smallest of them all, wasn't he? So yeah, we've worked hard, but we hope he likes our version and obviously we like to change stuff and put our own little twist on things. So we hope he appreciates that too. Well, there's a very handsome trio here preparing to sing, but there are two more of you waiting to join this band, yeah, aren't yeah. there? Yeah, well, they love the music, um, but they'll have to go through a rehearsal and a trial first. <laughs> <laughs> and they're only we, aren't they? Yeah. How old? Eight and ten, nearly forgot that. And they're, they're learning their ropes at the yeah. moment. They're learning to play the drums so they can join the band. And, and Ruben, you're going to be singing what for us? Uh, Poppy Love. OK, we can't wait for that because your dad is your manager. He's watching. And what's it like having your dad managing you? It's fun, but we can't get into a lot of mischief with them around, so we're looking to get rid of them soon. So <laughs> enjoy ourselves a little. So if you're watching tonight and you're a potential pop manager of this band, uh, have a little look at this. It's yeah. the Valentine family with yeah. Poppy Love. <laughs> And they called it puppy love Oh, I guess they'll never know How a young heart really feels And why I love her so, so, so. Yes, they call it puppy love just because we're in our teeth Tell them all it isn't fair, 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 fair To take away my dream, dream, dream. Thank you <laughs> Tell you what Oh, live as you like that oh, oh, very good I gotta tell you, to take away my... Oh, that was a nice lick. Oh! That was a nice... I should have done it that way at the beginning. <laughs> Got a future? Oh, yes, definite future. Good, fantastic job, guys. Oh, that's very nice. Praise. And I, be, I bet your brothers at home were screaming at the telly. Absolutely that's delighted. Brilliant. That was well really done. cool. Thank Super. you. So one more uh, band left uh, tonight, the Allen family from Ramsgate uh, in Kent. But um, speaking of... Performances. Don't, yeah, don't you might want to put your uh, maybe cover your eyes, put your fingers Why? in your ears for this bit because uh, this is how the pointless family do it. Oh, hello. Baby, give me a sign. I gotta cross that red line so we can leave here with our heads held high. I want to. But now my mind is a blur. I want to take you home and confer. Now let's come back down the line. <laughs> come on, was that, was that better than Johnny Cash? I thought that was that good, was Alexander. Oh, I like yeah. that. That was our Eurovision band. <laughs> we didn't expect Eurovision vision special. I'm glad I wasn't judging that. Yeah, 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 yeah no, nothing, yeah, mate. Nothing, you wish. Yeah. yeah. You've, had your, you've had your bit, Donnie. Okay, Come on, okay, we're talking okay. about our band now. Richard. Null point, we were talking. You were called what? Null point. No, is no points. No points. No points. Yeah. 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 <laughs> it's what Great Britain traditionally scores at the Eurovision. Yeah. Richard, the, the new Pointless book is out. Yep. Um, uh, with a hundred 
of your favourite questions. Exactly, yes. It's got loads of quizzes in there. As I was saying to Zander earlier, honestly, it's, it's loads and loads of quizzes you can play with your family. It's mm. genuinely guaranteed to ruin your family Christmas <laughs> or your money back. Well, it's, it's one of those that you do just want to sit down and play it. You, you yeah, can't help but great. pick it up. So you've got all the lists there, for. all the questions. You can go through it how you want to do oh, it. Great idea. Nice. Of all um, those questions, though, which is your favourite? Oh, we were talking about mm, that earlier. Weren't questions we? we've had. I think my favourite question we've ever had was uh, things Rick Astley said he was never going to do. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was really sweet. It was actually the, the way it was ranked. It all came out pretty it much came in order. Pretty much in order. Yeah. It's great. We, we, really? we virtually yeah. got to sing the reveal, didn't we? Yeah. Uh, no, that's. Uh, and so that, that, that is the best. Then I mean, what, 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 what is the best kind of style of a pointless question? Well, that was a good one. What did we do the other day? We did um, we did tits and finches. Didn't you, which is nice. Oh yeah, no, yeah. that's in the book. Actually, that's in the book. Oh, what exact course it is? A tits and question. Yeah, because I'm very much a finch man. And what are tits? <laughs> they're, they're birds. Well, well, oh, the birds. Okay. Okay. Oh, birds. Okay. Oh, don't. It's a good thing we're not in America. <laughs> we're trying to have an honourable thought of. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we're trying to have a conversation here. Yeah. Um, so, what would make a better question? Famous Gabby's or famous Matts? I think we've done famous Matts actually. I think we have done famous yeah. Matts. Uh, don't get your hopes up. No, uh, no, I'm not. <laughs> but, I'm not. I've been on famous the show. Gabby's I don't want to talk is about quite it. hard. Yeah, Gabriel Batistuta. Uh, yeah, Gabby Agbonlahor. Gabby Agbonlahor you could have. Maybe um, Gabby Sabatini. Yes. Possibly. Yeah, we had her I'm going to well. say famous Matts. Yeah. Mm. Mm. That. Okay. So you, you, you say that you give 100 people 100 yeah. seconds mm -hmm. yeah. to answer and come up with it. Who are those 100 people? Nobody knows. <laughs> Nobody they do exist. Knows. They don't even know when they're being asked. I, think. I have a theory. <laughs> I, think, I think the people who do the polling for us are barmen, late night barmen who ask oh, people questions yeah. when, they, when they reckon they're drunk. Oh. The interesting thing is it's all done online, and the 100 people, because we've been up five years now, oh, the 100 people are getting cleverer because some of them are watching Pointless. So, um. you know, we have Vanuatu on that thing, which is a, a South Pacific island. And whenever we ask yeah. questions now, Vanuatu always used to be Pointless. Now it gets seven or something because people watch Pointless and go, yeah, Vanuatu. Oh. Oh. One of the most famous Do you say nobody knows? If you're out there and you've done this, email us a picture. Of yourself, just Doing so we it. can put a face. Because nobody's so we'll know. ever met anybody who's no, done one. No one <laughs> Who knows? We might get one by the end of the show. No, neither of us have done it. That was that was our hundred percent survey. So we just wondered who's doing it. Yeah, yeah. I haven't. Yeah. Mm. What about, bit what about uh, it's not an easy show, I would imagine, to cheat on, is it? Have you ever had any suspicions? Yeah. Well, mm. we have. Yeah, when we have our celeb shows, they, they give it their best shot. Certainly, they just <laughs> talk. Though, but you're not meant to talk. That's the point. People are no mic'd up throughout. We can hear every single thing people yeah. are saying. And celebrities, literally, from the second they get on stage to the second they leave, do not stop talking at any yeah. point. Yeah. They cheat all the time, don't they? We always catch them. Yeah. They'll go, I didn't say anything. And you see, literally, <laughs> literally, I just heard you say to Sue Pollard, Central African Republic. <laughs> <laughs> as clear as day. As now, clear as day. Donny, you've done, you've done an afternoon quiz show yourself. Identity. Yeah. Did you? Ident um, identity. What yeah. was that experience like for you? I mean, was it, was it easy money or was it hard work? Oh, it's, it's very hard work, mm. you know, because you, you, you're trying. When you're under pressure like that, you tend to forget things. Mm. And like, what you, if you didn't have the pressure, you'd be able to answer it just fine. But when you're against the clock... You were the host, though. Right? Yeah, I was... I was, <laughs> yeah, no, no, I was so, that was so easier, I was under though. a lot of pressure. I forget everything. <laughs> well, go back to this book. The very point, this quiz book, is out uh, tomorrow. Uh, yeah. OK, it's time now for our third and final family band to pay homage to the Osmonds. And these guys are originally all the way from the US of A. It's the Allen family. Our family band was formed because the kids, for some strange reason, they gravitated towards the only kind of music that I know how to play. The bluegrass and old time music that my dad plays from his home band has sort of been what we've grown up around. Being a family, playing music together means that there's often quite a lot of arguments. I want to play it in this key and we sort it out before we get on stage usually. They're all super talented, in demand musicians, not only in the family group but around with their friends and other bands. I'm sure they're going to be looking for another fiddle player soon. Yeah, dinner time. Time at my house, six o'clock, round the table, TVs, radios, anything off. Uh, it's, a, it's a tradition in my family, and we, we still maintain that every day. So the Crazy Horses song, this is not quite exactly in my realm of musical knowledge and, and expertise. However, the more it rolled around up in my brain, uh, I, I sort of clicked on a way for our family band to get a sound of it. And it worked really well, actually, as a bluegrass tune. As a musician and a dad, I give thanks every day that we were actually able to go out on that stage and play 
music and, and make it enjoyable for other people to listen to. It's just wonderful, this piece. I mean, how, how old was everybody when they started playing? A lot younger than this. Uh, oh, yeah, Gary, of course. Gary was about as tall as that microphone right there. Right. <laughs> and how did you decide what, in, what instrument to introduce to which, I, which I, child? Honestly, I didn't do anything. I, I just sort of uh, joined their band. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I joined up when I was when I was old enough to, to play with them, you know, and uh, yeah. like it says on the film, I'm, I'm probably going to be replaced pretty soon. <laughs> <laughs> but the key, without doubt, is the family spirit. Hey, in you're this darn week. right. So darn we right. will enjoy this for all that it's worth. Oh, it's the Alan so much. family thank with you so much. Crazy Horses. Have crazy fun. Horses. <laughs> I just wish my brothers could have heard this. Oh, well, you can always clip it up. Oh, yes, I, I've got to get a clip of this and play it for my brothers. Have, have they done justice to the Osmond songs today? By all, all means, I have enjoyed this so much. All three of you guys, you know, fantastic. Every single one of them has just been a wonderful night. Oh, Osmond, there we are. Okay, well, it's now Donnie's turn, so off you go then. Do you have a mic for me? Take it away, yep. Okay. Take it away whilst uh, we say our goodbyes. Okay. This is, this is uh, from my 60th album. Go do you know what, Donnie? We'll just, before you sit, we'll just, we'll just say goodbye to everybody oh, first, and we'll leave you with it. Yeah? <laughs> because Donnie's album, the, the soundtrack to uh, My Life, is available from November the 10th. And Alexander and Richard's very pointless quiz book is out tomorrow. Their pointless quiz show continues weekday afternoons. And Saturday, of course, on BBC One. Uh, yeah, that is the end of our family special. What a wonderful time we've had uh, to play us out, along with photos that you've sent in. It's Donnie. Thank, Thank you, you, Donnie. The gift of love I'll wrap it up Unconditionally I'm prepared to be It's not enough to give you things Just the promise of the gift of love and more You won't find it on Fifth Avenue In Hollywood or Timbuktu For it resides so deep inside It's true Inside of you, the gift of love is all I have delivered personally to you for me from my heart, like it should be. But it's never enough unless I'm giving you the gift of love. No, it's never enough unless I'm giving you the gift of love.